Hello tubers, Titleist07 here, how's it going? So today we got a uh, Skag 61 inch uh, walk behind Hydro. This was probably like a seven or eight thousand dollar machine when it was new. So the problem that it has is uh, there was a grass fire because that pipe is right, you know, um, right against the uh, top of the the cover for the uh, belts and pulleys and stuff so I can see that grass would you know come up here and then there so it uh, burnt the valve cover gasket so I gotta um, get one of those gaskets also burnt an air filter um, says it pulls to the right so I'm gonna change the uh, hydro fluid and I aired up the uh, tires this one's probably gonna need a tube because uh, it was off the bead and it's pretty cracked and junky so yeah, this is going to be a nice paying job. I just got the check from um, the uh, ransoms mower yesterday. Oh, ah, that felt good when I got that out of there and uh, got my money in hand. You know, I need it. I'm going to college, uh, you know, and it was a lot of labor. There was probably eight hours of labor in that machine. So uh, this thing, you know, it runs kind of funky. It also burned the, uh, I believe, yeah, that is, actually, I don't believe. It is the carburetor ball, fuel, shutoff, wire, safety, switch, thingamajig. So it needs a new one of those, or I'll just rewrap it with um, some shrink stuff or whatever. No biggie. Grease it all up, shop in the blades. There's probably a bunch of, uh, yeah, that's pretty coated under there with stuff, so... Um, but this is the biggest machine I've had to date. Um, I'm not sure what this engine is. It's a Kohler twin overhead valve. It's It's got to be at least 19, 20, 20 something horsepower. But uh, this kind of got worn off. This was a landscaper's mower. And a uh, guy a uh, little ways down the street from me, he's a good guy. He uh, owns the biggest business around um, for, uh, it's like, some toy company, I don't know, but he makes millions now. <laughs> His property, beautiful piece of property. He has a, a giant like pond. It's almost like it's like on it's like on the scale of a lake. It's almost a lake. But he he owns that whole thing, and um, but uh, he also has quite a bit of land. Uh, this the uh, other mower, the uh, Ransom's mower, same guy. And uh, the Wheel Horse 1057 that I had in here, same same guy. So this is a three-time repeat customer, and he's got a John Deere for me next. So he likes my work, he likes my prices, and uh, stuff like that. But I got the shop pretty clean, um, and I got the deck mower out. So just draining the oil of what oil was in there. It was under the ad, um, so that's always good, right? But... Uh, it starts up, runs pretty good, but I uh, just, you know, got to change the fluids, got to take this tire off, put a tube in it probably. Um, I rode around on it for a few minutes just to heat up the oil. It's weird. But uh, it's a Skag Zero turn. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, here's the... Uh, It's an SIZ20CVE. So, uh, whatever that means, I've never worked on a SCAG. Um, I'm not really. The only SCAG I've ever worked on is uh, the ones that you sit on and you have like these weird handlebars and you kind of like fly around in circles and shit. But I've never uh, worked on one of these. But a big beefy oil filter on it. It doesn't have a hydraulic oil filter, which. Uh, Kind of surprises me, but uh, whatever. Anyways, I'll just keep updating this video as we go. Um, and uh, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. But uh, it's looking like it needs a belt. I don't know. Maybe you can get another season out of that. But it's pretty cracked. Yeah, that's a good crack. I don't know, maybe we can get another season out of it. I'll get some more money out of them next year, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty bad. I bet this is expensive as hell, too. 
probably like 40 50 bucks but look at that like really like it lit on fire under here I should have Kent over here um, set screws but anyways uh, that's the story with that that's looking pretty healthy huh frick sakes hey uh, different day same shit um, basically the uh, bolt snapped on this valve cover when I was taking it off. Well, it didn't snap, it uh, just ate up the threads. So, I went to our not-so-friendly Napa and got a Healy coil for 45 bucks. Um, some Loctite. Put a Healy coil in it. My first ever Healy coil. And I think it's gonna work well. It threads in nice. I've never done a Healy coil before. That was cool. I just basically e howed it on, um my iPhone and learned how to do it right there so that's pretty cool but uh, yeah so we're just gonna get this button back up I got a new valve cover or used rather because the other one was warped because the guy lit the thing on fire this one I mean it's kinda like roughed up in wrong places and shit so anyways we're just gonna get that back together throw some oil in it put an oil filter on it then do the hydro fluid adjust the hydros because it pulls to the right and uh, do something over here with a carburetor thing and stuff fuel filter spark plugs fuck getting sick of this shit but um, got a key switch for that so that's good but anyways just gonna keep on uh, trucking here